Hello and welcome to Telepath Tactics Liberated. This is basically what you would get if you combined Fire Emblem with destructible battlefields. If that sounds cool, then stick around. Otherwise, you can take a look in the link through the description. That will take you to the Steam Store page. Let's start a new game. And here we go. Welcome to Telepath Tactics. Before we begin, what difficulty would you like to play on? And there are many of them, as you can see. Very, very cool, actually, that they give you uh, a wide variety of different options. I think we're probably going to go for something like Soldier. That seems like kind of normal. Enemy AI is more competent. Fallen characters return after battle with minus one maximum health. That actually sounds pretty good to me, so let's play on Soldier. Yeah, recommended for players who want a decent challenge and lasting consequences for their mistakes, but not permadeath. Are you sure? Well, apparently you can get permadeath in this game. That's pretty crazy in itself, but I'm pretty happy to start on Soldier. At last, the Tsarist. Uh, it has been so long, if only I could stay a while, but they must surely have sensed me by now. San? San Kamina? Is that you? It's all up to the car now. Goodbye, little ones. I must fly. Ten years later. Okay, lift your calor, Hesh. I have a name. Your name will be Gudur if you keep leading with your feet during your attack. Sa. Ugh. You see? What do I tell you, Hesh? You must always lead with the Sarah or leave yourself open to a killing blow. She pants with exhaustion. My name is Emma. Sigh. You make such slow progress. You are Hesh until you improve. Try again. Welcome to Telepath Tactics. In this battle, you control Emma Strider, the blue swordsman on the left. Left clicker to select her. Every space Emma can move to is highlighted in blue. Click a blah, 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 if I could speak. Click a blue space next to move there. Okay, so why not here? See, moving is easy. Now end your turn by pressing the end turn button, which is down here. Or you can press Shift E. I will press Shift E instead. All right. Enough hesitation. Draw your Sarah and attack me. Skills are shown in the left side of the actions bar at the bottom of the screen. Move the mouse over a skill button to see what it does and what spaces it can reach. Click the sword or press 1. I would say you can press 1. Yes, you can. That's pretty amazing in itself. Alright, so let's attack. Boom, there we go. End your turn. Yes, indeed. Now defend. Okay, so now there is a, an option to defend as well, I suppose. Maybe not. I, I mean, I, I assume... Okay, I've played Fire Emblem. Uh, I've, I've played Fire Emblem, obviously, right? So I know that generally it is going to be turn-based, so you're going to get to attack. But then you can also defend in that same turn. So obviously you're not going to get two different actions, but you have one, one choice to make, and that's either offense or defense or some ability or using an item or something like that. You know that I un can, I can understand you, right? So you understand, Lissit. What you do not understand is that weakness in combat will get you killed. Come, attack again. Try this time. All right. So, I, I mean, I, I guess. Uh, terrain Inspector. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, so obviously terrain is going to make a really, really big difference to success in this game as well. So you got to bear that in mind. Oh, we're getting backstabbed. Oh, I should have actually moved behind, to be honest. She eyes Emma with a look of unguarded disappointment. Here, use bandage. To use an item, right-click Emma. Her inventory will appear in the bottom left. Click the bandages. Okay, right-click, and there you go. There she is. And then we can use these. Boom, there we go. So she's now healed herself up. Can I actually move? I can move. So what about if I literally go like this? Oh, you can actually zoom out quite uh, quite a lot. So let me move around and let's go for a backstab. Nice. Okay, I got one extra damage. <laughs> I was actually hoping to get a little bit more. 
We are done. Rest, reflect on your form. We try again tomorrow. Damn. Emma, are you okay? She rubs her neck, grimacing in pain. I'll be fine. Silithus was really hard on you today. Yeah, what else is new? So, um, do you want to practice some more? Right now? Are you kidding? Oh, come on, I hardly ever get any sparring time. Silithus always, Silithus always focuses on you because you're older. Okay, look, it feels like a tree just fell on me. You want me to be ready when we go rescue Dad, don't you? Shh, not so loud. Do you want us to get caught? Sorry. It's okay. Look, I need to go rest, and you do too. Try not to worry. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, apparently the story in this game is very, very good as well. That is what I've, I've read from the Steam reviews, at least. Anyway, you are late. Sorry, it took longer than I thought it would to find a sword. They must have moved that bandit stockpile sometime over the past few weeks. It's fine. Let's get going. We need to put some distance between us and the Zaras before daybreak. Hold on a second. What? I feel a little weird about this. Shouldn't we at least say goodbye? Sabrina, we've been over this. The Lizard will try to stop, stop us if we tell them. I just feel weird leaving the Zaras behind without so much as a word. I feel like I'm turning my back on my home. This isn't your home. It's like we're leaving our family behind. Don't say that. What is wrong with you? Well, they basically raised us, didn't they? Look at me. I am your family. Father is your family. Family doesn't call you Hesh every other word. I guess. Pull it together, Sabrina. We've waited too long to give up on this now. If you don't want to come, then go run back to the Zaris. I am going to go rescue Father. If he's still alive, that is. Hey! Hey, Emma, wait up! So, where are the mines exactly? I don't know. That is what we're going to find out. Um, don't worry. We'll find out where they are. We're not going to the Hesh Town, are we? First of all, don't call it the Hesh Town. It's just town. Second of all, why wouldn't we? Well, you know, Amber Sang says... I don't care what Amber Sang says. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, no one from the Zaras would say how we ended up there or how to get back to the mines, so we have to ask around ourselves. Someone in town is bound to know something. Look at that, Red. Two young ladies traveling all alone. This should be an easy one. Well, the boss will be happy to hear about it. Hmm, we don't need to bother the boss. We can take care of this ourselves. Uh, relax. Pharaoh wouldn't have to know nothing. It's, it's not that. What, are you scared or something? No, it's just they have armor and weapons, looks like, and there's only two of us. So what, a scrawny girl in armor is still just a scrawny girl? Come on, don't be such a chicken. I'm not a chicken, I'm just, hey, wait up. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, well, didn't your daddies ever tell you not to travel alone in Igor's territory? Emma, bandits. Don't worry, we're not all that bad. Just pay us a little tribute and you'll be free to leave. They will? Ugh, would you shut up? Get back, Savvy. You'll stay right where you are if you know what's good for you. Oh, we're not going anywhere. You two, on the other hand. Emma draws her sword. All right, and here we go. This is the first chance we've gotten out of the, uh, well, more formal tutorial, and we're now going to be able to move. So obviously every single character has a certain amount that they can move, and every single character has experience. Every single character can gain skills and abilities, and there are a wide variety of different heroes that we are going to be able to recruit as the game goes on. So let me see what I can do here. You now have both sisters under your control. You can move and attack with both of them during every turn. Left click Sabrina to select her. You can also use the space bar to cycle through your available characters. Good to know. All right, so we're going to just attack straight, just like straight here. You made a bad decision right there. Draw and steal. All right, nice six damage. Not bad, actually, considering. And can I attack from here, or can I only attack from the cardinal direction? So I'm actually not entirely sure. I can oh, literally place a snare trap. That could be really, really useful. I think what I might try to do is I might try to do something like so. 
Don't forget, whenever you're done with moving everyone, if there are characters left that you don't want to attack with, you can just select end turn. And you can also, yes, like I said before, you can press shift E. So I'm going to put a snare trap over here. There we go. So if this guy decides to come and try and uh, flank me, well, he can't do that now anymore. So that's going to be pretty nice. Good, good five damage from Sabrina right there as well. And we can now Bloodbeard Bandits. Oh, well, yes, they are acting like Bloodbeard Bandits. And look at that. He walked onto my snare trap and now he is stunned. Perfect. And it seems like we have Emma attacking and she has now learned a new skill. She's also reached level two and she's learned Sprint. Sprint is 40% of speed added to the max movement speed this turn and also doesn't end the turn. Now, that's actually super nice. And we've also gained some additional strength as well. All right, here we go. So this is gonna be pretty easy for us. I think what I'm actually gonna do is I will attack with Sabrina first. Ugh, can't believe she beat me. And there we go. He's now dead. And now we can go for a wonderful backstab on this guy. And that's going to do even more damage. Oh, look at that. 10 damage from Emma right there. Super nice. And hopefully this guy is not going to move into it. Ah, of course he did move into a backstab. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. It's only 8 damage. Probably not too bad. And Sabrina will go in for a backstab here. And that's going to be him dead, I think. Why is this happening to me? Mommy! <laughs> that's funny. And Sabrina has also leveled up and gained the sprint skill. She's also gained some additional uh, counterattacks, apparently. Ability to retaliate against attacks. And she's also gained some more strength. And there we go. Victory to player. And it, it gives you a little bit of a rundown of what you were able to do. And now we can move on with the story. So this is a tavern. The Bramble Briar, whatever that means. It sure is noisy in here. I think I like it. Ah, Crucius, this is making me think of Dad. He took me to a tavern once, when I was really little. The music, the chatter, the warm lighting. I'd forgotten all about it. She sighs heavily. He's counting on us, Sabby. Let's split up and see what we can find out. Hi, my name is Emma. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Hello? I'm sorry, please forgive us. My sister has a strange sense of humor. It's just simple wordplay, Farasat. I don't get it. Well, you see, you said hi, which sounds like hi, as in height. So I responded by saying hello. Dot, dot, dot. It doesn't uh, work so well if you have to explain it. Right, so maybe you can help me out. I'm looking for a certain place. You don't say. So are we. Gabrielle, a word, please. Excuse us, Emma. Hi, it's so good to see you. What? Huh? Goodness, I'm so sorry. You look just like my friend. I mistook you for her. Oh, well, um, that's all right. I'm so embarrassed. Can I buy you a drink? Well, okay, uh, why not? Here, have a seat. My name is Louise. This is my associate, Madeline. Nice to meet you. I'm Sabrina. A pleasure to meet you, Sabrina. Madeline, would you be a dear and buy our new friend beer? I have to be honest, I've never had beer before. Here, try some. It's cheap, Swill, but it does the trick. Thank you. Ugh, this tastes awful. Don't let first impressions fool you. You have to give beer time. It grows on you. Yeah, on your gut. She slaps her belly. Ugh, to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm ever going to like this stuff. A good beer is one of life's little pleasures. I wonder what else you've never tried before. Have you ever played Guess a Number? No? What, what is that? Oh, you'll absolutely love it. It's great fun. Here is how it works. You pick a number, any number, and I try to guess what you've picked. Let's try it. Think of a number. All right. Hmm, you're thinking of 15. No, I'm sorry. I was thinking of two. Drat. Okay, let's try again. Think of a new number. Tell me when you have it. All right, got it. Your number is 37. Uh, no, it was uh, 21. Damn. 
I guess I'm not very good at this. Hey, Sabrina, maybe you should bet some money on the outcome of the next one. What? Are you trying to ruin me, Madeline? I'll tell you what, we'll keep it small. Say, 100 aura. Oh, uh, to be honest, I don't really have... Don't spoil it, Sabrina. We were just having so much fun. Besides, what are the chances of me actually guessing right? Well, you are zero for two. Indeed I am. Come on, think of a number. Okay, I have it. It's eight. What? But how did you... Pure luck, dear. Pure luck. Anyway, you've lost the bet, so now it's time to pay up. But I, uh, I don't have any money. I was trying to tell you. Oh, oh my. That is unfortunate. Wouldn't you say, Madeline? You know what I always say, Louise. If you ain't got a fortune, you're unfortunate. Ha! Hmm, hmm, yes. Well, we shan't let a little thing like debt come between friends, right, Sabrina? Oh, good, I was worried you were... You can work it off! What? What is it, Faris had? We don't know this girl. Perhaps it would be best not to trust her with the purpose of our quest. If you're that concerned, why don't you just read her mind? Really? You're really suggesting that? What? Why not? It's just the two of us. We could use some help, and she looks like she's handy with a sword. One doesn't simply go around reading people's minds, Gabrielle. It's rude. You're so fussy. If it were me, I'd be reading people's minds all the time. All the time. Excuse me, hi. You can continue your argument in a moment. I just need to know if you know the location of the Vibra Mines. The... there! You see, Farazat, she's heading there too. Gavrielle! So you're heading to the mines. Yes, our dear brother was kidnapped and sold to the Shadowlings. We aim to free him. Yawa, help us, Gavriel. That mouth of yours is going to get us killed one of these days. Not today. Not by me. My sister and I seek the mines for a similar reason. Everyone run for your lives! It's Bloodbeard's bandits! And here we go. All right, we're going to get into the second real, well, I say quote-unquote real uh, combat situation. It's harvesting time. You all know the drill. Round up the men first. Kill anyone who gives you trouble. Pharaoh expects us back with our catch boy tomorrow, so let's do this fast and efficient like. Emma? Sabrina, over here. Is this your friend? She's, she's my sister. Do you have business with her? After a fashion? Well, it'll have to wait. Come on, Sabrina, we can't just stand idly by while this village is ransacked by bandits. Alright, it seems like we have everyone. Everyone is in our party now. Hey, wait up, we're gonna help you. Are these the bandits the villagers kept talking about? They have shackles with them. Hmm, as I thought. Slavers. If they sell slaves to the mines, they must know how to get there. We should try to capture one of them. The mines? <laughs> oh my, you're all mad. Excuse me, who are you? No one need no one you need to concern yourself with, Ravalanian. Hey Louise, those guys have axes in the head for us. Maybe we should, you know, uh, focus on that for now. Well you don't have to axe me twice. Ha 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 Yawa help us. <laughs> that, that, that guy has had enough. That guy is done with his, uh, with his sister slash wife slash uh, person who he knows. I actually have no idea what their relation is. Maybe I missed that. Anyway, these guys are now attacking us. At the start of your turn, there will be a save game button left of the new turn box. To save your progress mid-battle, press the save game button. Alright, we should probably do that. Your swordsmen and axe wielders have more health than your other characters, and they'll counterattack when hit. Keep them up front as much as possible. To see what a character on your team is capable of, right-click them. All right. So, ah, uh, well, where where is the where is the save game button? That's the whole that's the whole point. I actually have no idea. There's the there's the menu, but I uh, I don't seem to be able to see that at the moment because they're probably just trying to teach me this. All right, so yeah, yeah. This is obviously Madeline. She's an axe fighter. She has decent amounts of skills and everything. 
And you can see here that Farasat, he is a photokineticist. Oh, now that's a fancy, fancy name. And Louise is a mentalist. Oh, okay, cool. Get Simon Baker in here. And we also have Gabrielle, who is a bowman. Okay, that's going to be really, really interesting. Right, so we can obviously play around the well here if we want to, right? So what I can do is we could potentially do something like this. So I want Sabrina to go over here. And we want her to place a snare trap. So let me see if I can actually do that right away. So let me do something along these lines. Place a snare trap round about here. And someone is no doubt going to want to try and attack us from the front. At least I would do that because most of these guys are not really going to be able to move that far. So hopefully we'll get something like that going and then we can move these people over here. Can we actually attack from here? No, as you can quite clearly tell, we are very much out of range. So let's actually just move that guy here. And what about the attack? Oh, the bowman can attack from very far distance. So that's actually really nice. So we're going to move Gabrielle over there and then Emma can go on the front line. And I'm pretty happy with this. We can also rotate so then we can just do this. And that will be that. Okay, well, now let's see what happens. Okay, so obviously there's a bowman on the enemy side as well. And he's moving back now. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, yeah, that's actually really, really interesting that they decided to go for one of our weakest characters. That means that they're being very, very clever about how they do things. But I don't think that's actually going to make that much difference. Emma seems to be taking a bit of a battering at the moment, but that's absolutely fine. She has a lot of HP. One of them finally went into the snare trap. Very nice to see that, gotta say. In this fight, you will lose if Emma or Sabrina falls. Aha, okay, good to know. Use bandages and Louise's mind shield ability to heal wounded characters. Okay, so Louise has obviously taken massive damage. So let's use mind shield on her. That's going to heal her for 12 HP, which is almost full for her. So that's actually fantastic. Photokineticist. Let's see what else he has. Okay, so he can attack with this and this. And this guy has 19 HP. I'd like... Sabrina to go and backstab this guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to move Farasat over here. This does 10 damage. We can't attack from close range. Mind Blast is the only thing that we can use at close range. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to have Sabrina move here. Backstab this guy for massive damage. Not enough damage to eliminate, unfortunately. So Madeline will have to finish this guy off by the looks of things. Boom. Oh, <laughs> should have just attacked with Madeline first. So much damage. 10 damage from her. Crazy amounts. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to attack this guy. And maybe, just maybe with Emma, we might be able... Can we backstab with her? No, we can't move with her, unfortunately. We cannot move over there either. This guy's still stunned. Can we sprint over there, though? That's the thing. Because what does this do again? 40% of speed added to max movement speed doesn't end the turn. That's actually kind of... That could be kind of useful. Let's actually see. We've got a move bonus. And now, now I can move over there. That's actually kind of useful, but I don't really want Gabrielle to take massive damage. So we're, we're going to just leave it for the moment. I'm, I'm pretty happy that we tested that out anyway, because that's exactly what I wanted to do. And otherwise, we're going to just attack... Mm, doesn't really matter who we attack, to be honest, because they're both going to be dealing relatively similar amounts of damage to me. Yeah, I think that seems pretty good. Has everyone moved? Yeah, I believe they have. Just can, can move Gabrielle if we want. And there we have it. All right. Now let's see what happens. I can assume that the boss is probably going to be someone that we want to deal with, and we are going to want to use Mind Shield as well. Yeah, I really love how Emma can actually counterattack. That is super, super useful. L if Louise could stop taking massive damage, I would very much appreciate that. Oh, no. <laughs> Louise is almost dead. I mean, that that it, that is kind of what she gets, right? For, for being uh, a bit of a scammer, you know? Anyway, attacks that can hit at multiple ranges like Light Blast or Bow experience damage fall off as you target further away. These attacks deal their base damage at minimum range, then deal 15% less damage for each space beyond that you target the attack. If you can do so safely, it's best to attack at minimum range. Okay, good to know. 
All right, so we're going to do Mind Shield once again to heal for a little bit more HP. Sounds good to me. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attack probably... You know what? Gavriel can probably just move away and then just attack like so. That's going to eliminate this guy really nice and easily. And there is an item sack. I actually wonder what we can do with the item sack. Can we pick that up? Yeah, grab that. We grab the sack. We got 25 aura, which is obviously the currency in the game. And what we can now do is possibly light blast. So we're going to do that. Light blast round about here. Hopefully we're going to get a blind on the guy. It's a 50-50 shot. We didn't get blind. That's kind of unfortunate, but what can I do about that really? Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is something like this. That's nine damage, which is exactly what we wanted. Jeez, this is really stressful, says Sabrina. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Okay, so now let's move over here. We're going to grab this. Another 25 aura. That's pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a bandage. Just heal ourselves a little bit right there. And Gavriel, uh, I, think so. I think Madeline can move, but she can't actually attack unfortunately so we're just going to move her to protect sabrina's back and we're going to just rotate her a little bit as well and there we go now we'll just end the turn and then we're going to be no doubt facing the boss relatively soon as well and hopefully with louise i will be able to use mind shield in just a second to be able to heal oh no louise is getting murdered again <laughs> oh what is going on with that louise is just getting absolutely murdered in every single way that is really, really funny. Okay, so let's just do this. There we go. We've almost leveled up once again. Super nice to see that. And let me see here. Okay, yeah, so mind shield once more. <laughs> How many times do I need to heal her? I have no idea, but yeah, at least, at least we have the ability to heal her. I guess that is kind of a... You know, that's actually something that's really, really nice. Because if I couldn't and I had to use bandages all the time, then that would be very, very bad. Okay, so can I shoot? Well, I, I can't, unfortunately. Okay, Madeline will have to go over here. Can I sprint? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, we're going to try and sprint, get all the way to the Bowman, and Sabrina has actually advanced in level. Look at that, and we've learned a new skill. Pull or shove? Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, that's going to be so fun. And she's also gained some slash resistance as well as energy, which is the capacity to pay the energy cost of skills. Super nice. All right, so now we can actually move all the way over here. I think I'm going to move like so. And what I'm going to do is, can I place the snare trap right underneath? No, I can't place the snare trap right underneath. I was really hoping I'd be able to do that. And now what these do is basically it pulls the target or pushes the target. I'm just going to be attacking normally though, because this guy has very little HP. And I would like to just do some damage. Just a little bit of damage, doesn't matter what. And I can only attack in a straight line, unfortunately. So that will end the turn. What the hell is going on over there? Did the villagers hire mercenaries? Ugh, damn those mucking crusty pig fondlers. Pharaoh's going to have my head. Fall back, fall back, you dogs. All right, and there we go. We actually gained a victory, amazingly enough. I actually thought we'd have to eliminate all of them, but apparently we were able to survive the required amount of turns. They've retreated. We should follow them. Yeah, let's ask them how it was. I've always wanted to go on a retreat. Follow them on purpose? Are you daft, dear? We're lucky to be alive right now. I concur. Thank you. With Emma, I mean. After all these months of searching for our brother, I am not prepared to let the trail go cold. Right. The bandits will give us a chance to learn the location of the mines. Come on, Sabrina. What? Hey, uh, now just wait a minute. Oh, look, Emma, what is that? Is that a caravan? You've never seen a caravan before? Oh, that's adorable. Your sister is as precious, Emma. Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like fighting. It doesn't just sound like it. That caravan is under attack. More bandits. The guards are outnumbered. We should intervene. 
Whoa, whoa, Emma, is it? This isn't your fight, dear. There's no need to risk your neck over a quarrel between thieves and merchants. Are you serious? People are getting killed down there. And how does adding ourselves to the corpse pile help that, hmm? We already did our good deed for the day by saving the people of Adelbray. I say we cut our losses and skirt around this little dust up. I vote to help. We're not going to find the location of the mines by running away from every bandit we see. Well, you're not going to find it out by dying either. Since you're not from around here, I feel I should point out that this is a small island. Igor Bloodbeard is going to take notice of you if you keep attacking his bandits, and then he is going to hunt you down. I am all for caution, but I cannot sit, stand idly by and watch these guards get slaughtered like this. We have to do something. Let's form up. We can debate our next course of action once we've handled this. In most battles, you have the opportunity to, de to deploy characters. During deployment, click characters and then click the yellow spaces to decide what formation they'll begin the battle in. Press the done button. Uh, obviously, if you've played Fire Emblem or if you've played uh, other SRPGs, then you will know exactly what this is. And generally, I I don't really care where they go as long as the uh, the axe fighters and and everyone else is all at the back. That's basically all I really care about. Just make sure that the axe fighters are at the front so that so that Louise cannot get murdered because <laughs> she is going to get targeted down like no one's business. Are they riding grasshoppers? They're riding grasshoppers by the looks of things. That's actually kind of crazy. Anyway, that is actually going to be it for this episode. If you would like to see more of Telepath Tactics Liberated, then obviously you can let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you'd like to check out the game yourself, there is a link in the description. And personally, if you're a fan of Fire Emblem, I really don't see a reason why you wouldn't want a game that actually has destructible environments and environments that you can interact with on such a deep level. Obviously, we haven't gotten to that point just yet. But it's, it's one of those, you know, it's one of those that you really have to give a go, in my opinion. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.